Well, I too want to start this by saying uh, we're on Gadigal land uh, and pay my respects to uh, elders past and present. Um, and that, that statement that we make with pride is actually a personal statement. And I want to say this is a personal fight we're having. You don't see Baird when he's on the waves of Manly worrying about the kind of towers we're talking about tonight. You don't see Berejiklian in Willoughby worrying about those towers. You don't see Johnson of the Urban Design Group who's advising all of us to live in apartments. You don't see him because he lives at the rocks uh, near Wharf 5 and he has quite a nice little pad. He's not living in units and apartments either. And of course you don't see Mrs. Uh, Turn Turnbull, Lucy Turnbull, Mrs. Harborside Mansion living in a problem area either with this kind of density being asked of her. So let's get it straight. We are being asked to accept substandard living. So I'm going to end this speech. When I end it, I'm going to do what Joe Halen did and call for action. I wrote a book 30 years ago called Green Bands for the Australian Conservation Foundation. It is uh, relevant today. But first we have to go through the proper process and we have to go through in united form. And I want to express on Save Dully's behalf, and of course we've been concentrating on the beautiful suburb of Dulwich Hill in all the representations we've made and the many, many, many meetings that we've had with the Department of Planning and heard the many, many promises that have come out of their mouths and then looked at the revised version and found it was worse than the 2015 one. So do we trust the Department of Planning to look after us? No, we don't. So I want to say, first of all, put it on the table for Save Dully, we are in absolute solidarity with the South Marrickville cause. And any experiences we've had, and, and let me say, We've walked down Hercules Street in uh, Dulwich Hill with uh, Stokes when he was planning minister. We've walked down there with uh, Michael Daly, the uh, shadow minister for planning. We've walked down there with the Department of, um, and not just those streets, many streets of Dulwich Hill, uh, with many uh, groups of people from the Department of Planning. We've We've gone back and forth sending endless sort of letters and appeals and all the rest of it. We've corrected many of the absolutely huge mistakes that they made in their 2015 version of the uh, Sydenham to Bankstown corridor maps, wrong colours, wrong figures, wrong facts, all of that absolutely ridiculous stuff. And why is all that? Because you know who's actually leading this planning process? The big developers. The big developers. So when Anthony went to see Mervac, he was taking on the big developers and good on him. That's what needs to happen. They need to feel the pain, not us. <clears throat> so, uh, we have found, through experience, evidence-based, that all the submissions we have made about South Dully have come to very little. Not nothing. Some, some, you know, compromises have been made, but it's still total overdevelopment of the suburb of Dulwich Hill. Hercules Street, as, as Anthony was saying previously, all these cottage houses fibro houses occupied by people who've been there for 30, 40, 50 years, um, 
we walk past those people with the minister and the shadow minister. We talk to those people. Joe Halen was, I've got to say, magnificent with us, always there with us, always seeing these people with us, uh, and always representing us uh, as a fabulous Labor state member. So we couldn't have done more. Really, we really did. And not only that, I've got to kind of praise Safe uh, Dully a bit. Um, when the 2015 um, submissions were made, Save Dully came up with the top of all the 11 precincts along that row line. Save Dully had more, by far, a third of all the submissions uh, to the planning department came from Dulwich Hill. 560 residents put in submissions and of those, 95% said, we don't want your plans. So are they, and of course, our democratically elected council had been taken from us. So on bended knees, the peasants were saying, please don't do this to us. So we've had a second, a second chance now with the 2017 uh, process and we're about to go through that, but, but that too is a false process. So I think when we come to something like this development, which is so extraordinary, it's a, it has to, I mean, it literally takes your breath away, doesn't it? Really, when, when you look at those buildings and you say, is that Marrickville? <laughs> Can that possibly? Now, that, that, that surely is, you know, the centre of the city or something. Um, it has to be a joke um, in every respect. I mean, one of the clear things that, that's happening, and there was a meeting that, uh, meeting that Joe Hallam was referring to before, was last night, I was at it at State Parliament, was... Um, about this concept of precincts along the line. Um, and when Michael Daly got up and said, we will, when we come to power, shred those plans, he also said, interestingly, we will stop the building of this stupid railway, privatised railway, between, <laughs> between Liverpool and, and Sydenham, where there'll be no driverless, you know, uh, trains and all this ridiculous Hong Kong investment in, the, in our suburbs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And he said, what should be happening is that train should be going to Parramatta and out to the new airport. And good on him, good on him, good thinking. Uh, our train, I love our train line. I love traveling on it. Listening to a little Vietnamese kid the other day singing, um, his happy birthday song so that the whole carriage could hear it was an absolute delight. Um, and those experiences you have all the time. So I just want to end by saying, let's fight this. Let's take it back to the government, back to the state government. And I spent a couple of hours this afternoon looking at the seats that will be lost to the state government as a result of the anger in this line. They are East Hills, Coogee because of the Ramwick line, Penrith, Oatley, Seven Hills, all that's needed, these would all go to Labor under a um, less than 10% swing. And then, because of the destruction of Parramatta that's occurring at the moment, probably the seat of Parramatta, and probably the seat of Riverston because of the overdevelopment that's going there. So I think we should be joining forces with places like the Total Environment Centre, with the Greens, with the, with the many, many, there's 400 groups in a, in a planning group um, that we can combine with that was actually put the meeting on last night. There needs to, and of course there's the unions. And I think we should be getting a solidarity group together, a committee together, and saying no to the Department of Planning, 
no, we're not going to meet your October 20 deadline, and we are going to ask for our planning powers back to our council. Thank you.